My name is Adi, and just like you, I am embodied on this beautiful planet Earth to assist our beloved Divine Mother in her planetary expansion on this beautiful planet. It is our beloved Mother Earth that we are part of who is expanding her body. So in a way, she's moving from what we would call a physical body to an etheric body. Everything is changing around us as we speak. This is an incredible process that we get to participate in. Our planet Earth lost her rainbow body. Rainbow body was this emanating light from the Earth. And you and me, we agreed to coming to planet Earth to offer our own rainbow body to Mother Earth to recreate her garment of light. Now, this is a very ancient story. A lot has happened in the past <laughs> and a lot is still about to happen. But basically, think about what people call ascension as a process of re-establishing the rainbow body of the earth. Now, that's a big deal. Not only does the rainbow body create this magnetic field around the earth, which creates protection, but also the magnetic field is really a field of love. It is a field of source light, which immediately creates a change for all species on planet earth. Nature, which normally humans should be part of, will be the first one to notice this change and to react to it. And I guess humans will probably eventually notice too that everything around them is changing. One of the most important elements of this divinity embodied in this physicality is water. Divine Mother is really the most connected to the element of water. Water is this quantum computer of cosmic intelligence. And anything that we search for in terms of knowledge or information or consciousness can be found in water. And it will be water that will be really changing who we are. Not only water, there is this alchemy of water and fire. And as you know, we've had a lot of solar events. And these solar events bring particles of solar light into our own DNA and bodies. And combined with the element of water, they create fusion within our bodies. For those who can see, they see us energetically exploding. We are beings who are in the most remarkable process of transformation on this physical level. We are bringing in the rainbow light into the physical body, whether we know it or not. But of course, the more we know, the better it gets, then we can participate consciously. Divine Mother really is the ultimate guide for us right now. I personally would say, let us always speak with her and ask her what she needs and wants. We have so many galactic beings who offer their help and that is very much appreciated. But if we go directly to the mother simply by just going outside and laying down on the ground, singing our soul song, which she really would appreciate because we all came here to be an instrument in the orchestra of life on planet Earth. And so as we sing, truly sing our tones, using our voices and singing tones and frequencies, allowing her rainbow light to be restored and also expanded in a way that uh, we are creating a whole new world with this song, with all our songs. And this is an experiment, which means that when you look at us from the highest perspective, we are not just beings in this world. We have so many dimensions in which we exist. And for me, when I look high up, where we really play this game, and then from there I look down, 
I see what we are doing, and that is we are singing. We are singing, really, creation into being. We are expanding this rainbow light, and we are really just looking at what works and what doesn't. But what really works is songs, our beautiful songs to Divine Mother. And each one of us has the ability to create songs that expand worlds into greatness. So let us sing together and let us co-create beautiful worlds in which the Divine Mother is really honored, loved and worshipped in a way that we haven't experienced here on planet Earth for a very long time. Divine Mother is always in our bodies. She is life force that animates us, and the more we allow her, the better it gets. There are many different practices we can do. I use Kundalini Yoga and breath to allow the Divine Mother to speak through and move through. And here is a chant that she gave me just a few days ago. Ma. 